All right, hi, how's it going, y'all? This is gonna be my very first Unify tutorial, and it's going to be on how to set up a Unify Dream Machine Pro, and this should work with the other gateways, as a DDNS server. So that way you can set up an address on the internet based off of a host name that you own to always point back to your home network, even if you don't have a static IP address. So this is my very first Unify tutorial, and I'm planning on doing a whole series of those, but I'm trying to get a list of all the different things to get together for, and so put anything you think would be good in the comments below. I want to start working off a list of those. So what I'm doing next is going to be on how to use a UDM Pro or UDM as a VPN surfer. And for that, you need to have an address that can always point back to your home's network. Now I'm going to be using this with Google domains, but you can also use this with DYNU, which is free, or no IP, which is also free. They're both very easy to set up and the process is essentially identical. I'll leave links to those in the description as well, but I already own a domain name, so it's a lot easier just to use that instead of anything else. All right, and so before I get all the way into the tutorial, let's talk about what DDNS is, or dynamic DNS. DDNS is essentially a workaround for people who do not have static IP addresses from their ISPs. So most home users do not pay for a static IP address from our ISP. ISPs upcharge them significantly, because generally, if you have a static IP address, you're probably running a business or something like that. And so ISPs know they can milk you for more money. And so it makes it very hard to host services at your own house. Because if you want to connect to something like a VPN server, even if you use a regular domain name, every time the IP address of your house changes, you're going to have to update the entry in your DNS server and wait a while for that to all persist across the board. And so it's really annoying to set up that because it's a manual process. However, DDNS solves this problem. Essentially what DDNS is, is a computer on your home network constantly pinging the DNS server. It goes, hey, I'm authorized to do this. This is my current IP address. It does this often enough so that if your ISP changes your IP address, which normally only happens when you unplug your router and plug it back in, it will update quickly enough that now all the services just keep working on. I would not recommend running a large website off of this that can't handle a few minutes of downtime every once in a while, but if it's not too big of a deal for you, if it's mostly just you or your friends, it's a perfect setup. This can also be good for things like Minecraft servers or any other game servers you'd like to host at your house, but don't want your friends to always have to get the most recent IP address from you. All right, so now let's just go ahead and log into your router and we're gonna go ahead and set it up. All right, and so right off the bat, you can see I'm using a new dashboard and we're just gonna go into settings down here. And we're gonna go down to gateway. And right here, there's this dynamic DNS setting. And then we just click create new dynamic DNS. So first off, you gotta pick your interface. This is only really applicable for people who have two different internet sources, but just choose the one that is your primary internet. It should probably be WAN1, unless you're using that 10 gig fiber port, in which case I'm very envious of you. And now you're gonna choose your service. And so as I said earlier, I'm using Google's DNS server, but if we look down, we can't see that anywhere. That's because they don't list out everyone, but Google uses DYDNS's same protocol, and so they're interchangeable for this. If you do want to use no IP, you can set that up, and I'll leave a link to that in the description, is a little bit annoying because you've got to click a link every 30 days to get it to stay active without paying for it. Otherwise, honestly, buying a domain from Google is really pretty cheap and allows you to do so much more. I think you can get them as low as like 12 bucks a year, which is way cheaper than no IP when you pay for it. All right, so we're gonna select DYDNS, and now we're actually gonna to have to log in to our Google domain services. All right, so I've already logged into the DNS server from Google domains from spacerex.co, but this should work for any other DNS method. And so for Google, we're just gonna go ahead and scroll down into synthetic records, and we're gonna select dynamic DNS. Then we're going to give it a name. We'll call it will.spacerex.co and just click add. Then under this dropdown menu, we're going to view the credentials and this is the username and password that's automatically been generated that we're gonna plug into our UDM Pro. Another thing to note, right now the IP address is 0.0.0.0, which means we know it's not been updated yet. And so just copy the username, 
call it will dot space rex and paste in the username and go back and copy in the password. Then under server, we're doing domains.google.com and just click done. Now it might take a few minutes to update, especially if you've already had one before. So give it a minute and then go back into Google domains or however you're hosting it and check on the IP address. Give it a web page refresh. And just like that, you can see right here, this is the IP address of my home's network. To make sure it's all working, we're gonna check on it by typing in dnschecker.com and we'll do will space rex and just search it. And as you can see, a few of them have updated, but not all of them yet. You can actually go through and check them multiple times and slowly they will change. But yeah, that is it. Now I can type in will.spacerex.co anywhere and it will automatically direct me to the IP address of my home network. And this is awesome for setting up a VPN server so you've always got a home place to go back to and go from there. This will work just with any other services like NoIP and DYDNU. So if you like those better, you can use them as well. All right, well, that's all you need to do. Don't worry, I've gone and changed this. But go ahead and leave any other uh, unified tutorials you'd like to see me make in the comments below. And have a good one. Bye.